Hi everyone, I'm Chris with Mother Mycelium and today we're going to be pouring some agar slants for long-term culture storage. To make agar slants, you'll need culture tubes with screw caps, agar powder, potato dextrose or some other nutrient, and a plastic dispensing bottle. Start by weighing out the appropriate amount of nutrients and agar powder. For 500 milliliters of water, I'm using 10 grams of potato dextrose and 10 grams of agar powder. There are many recipes you can use for this, so I'll put a link in the description with more resources. Once your media mix is weighed out and ready to go, add the appropriate amount of water and boil until the powder is completely dissolved. Once the powder is completely dissolved, add your mixture to a plastic dispensing bottle. These dispensing bottles are readily available online, and this is by far the easiest and cleanest method I've found to pour a lot of slants at once. Be careful when adding hot liquids to these bottles, as once you screw the lid on, the liquid will readily flow out the top. To counteract this, you can also unscrew the lid a little bit and just make sure it's not tightened down all the way, and this will give you more control over how much liquid is coming out of the tip. Fill each tube about halfway with the media. I'm using 15 milliliter tubes here and filling them with about seven or eight milliliters of media. Once all the tubes are filled, I like to go through and wipe down the sides and tops with a paper towel in case I spilled some media on the sides. Now that the tubes are wiped off, I'll just go through and loosely screw on the lid to each tube. You'll want to make sure that you don't tighten the lid all the way down as this could cause the tube to break during the sterilization process. Once all of your tubes are loosely capped, place them in your pressure cooker or autoclave and sterilize them for 20 minutes at 15 psi. After the sterilization process, make sure your pressure cooker has fully depressurized to zero PSI and remove your tubes. An important tip here is to orient the white label towards the slant so that once your slant solidify, you'll have the best view of your mycelium. Once you've got all of the tubes oriented correctly, slowly tip the rack so that the media becomes slanted. You can see here I'm just using mason jar lids to rest my rack against, but they also make specialized slant racks with an angle on the edge so that you can just tip it over and it'll be at the correct angle for making culture slants. Let the media cool completely in this position. When it's completely cool, you can tip your rack back over and you'll see you have nice slants with a lot of surface area for your mycelium to grow on. Now tighten all of the lids completely to keep out contamination and to keep your slants from drying out. And then place them in their original packaging or a plastic Ziploc bag until you're ready to use them. You can prepare a bunch of these ahead of time and store them for months before use. Now I'll demonstrate how to inoculate your agar slants with liquid culture and with plate cultures using an inoculation loop and using a scalpel. For these transfers, you'll need to be working in a sterile environment. Here I'm working in front of a laminar flow hood, but you can optionally use a still air box. Before you start, spray everything down with isopropyl alcohol to sterilize it. Once your space is clean, start by flame sterilizing your scalpel until it's red hot. Let the scalpel cool for a few seconds and then cut a small wedge of agar and transfer it to the agar tube. Once you screw the lid back on and label your slant, it's ready for long-term storage. Now we'll use the same process to inoculate our slants with an inoculation loop. Flame sterilize the inoculation loop and then gently scrape the surface of your culture 
to get some tissue onto the loop. Then simply spread the tissue on the surface of the slant and the process is complete. You can also inoculate slants with liquid culture by simply flame sterilizing the needle and then squirting just a few drops onto the slant. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments if you have any questions.